People think a soulmate is your perfect fit, and that's what everyone wants. But a true soulmate is a mirror. The person who shows you everything that is holding you back. The person who brings you to your own attention so you can change your life. A true soulmate is probably the most important person you'll ever meet, because they tear down your walls and smack you awake. But to live with a soulmate forever? Nah, too painful. Soulmates, they come into your life just to reveal another layer of yourself to you, and then leave. A soulmate's purpose is to shake you up, tear apart your ego a little bit, show you your obstacles and addictions, break your heart open so new light can get in, make you so desperate and out of control that you have to transform your life, then introduce you to your spiritual master. This is a good sign, having a broken heart. It means we have tried for something. For my part, I prefer my heart to be broken. It is so lovely, dawn kaleidoscopic within the crack. I think part of the reason we hold on to something so tight is because we fear something so great won't happen twice. Anything that feels forced or harder than it should be, or causes you pain and distress, is not meant for you. There is power in letting go. A power that brings more peace and serenity than being stuck in situations that make your heart a bit heavier each and every day. Those relationships didn't actually hurt you. They showed you an unhealed part of yourself. A part that was preventing you from being truly loved. Whatever it is you're feeling, feel it. Don't bury it. Don't hide from it. Don't ignore it. Feel the awful, brutal feelings in the strangest, most inexplicable way. We need those lovers that we never fully let go of, because each one of them represents a whole entire world within ourselves. You know the famous saying, if you truly do love someone, you will learn how to let them go.